Hey there, Expediting with Lucy. I am sitting here by a factory waiting to load here in about an hour. So I got some time to burn and I've talked about a lot of the positive aspects of this job and now I need to talk about the dark underbelly. Yes, that's right. Dispatchers. Those overpaid, underworked, knuckle draggers who, I'm kidding, our dispatchers are fantastic. Those are the people, they're going to get you your loads. They, you learn their personality, they're, they learn yours and you can get a lot of good things done. I have been to the head shed exactly once in the year that I've been here. And the dispatchers look like gamers. They sit behind a desk. They've got screens all over the place. They probably drink energy drinks all day. I don't know. But uh, they're the ones that find the loads. They know the parameters of what your vehicle can do, what its capabilities, how big, how much weight, your lengths and heights. They put a ring around you, 100 miles, 50 miles. It depends on the area you're in. If you're in Wyoming, they make it a 200-mile ring because they have to. They're very good at what they do. They are the ones that you want to have a positive relationship with. Ours are fantastic, except for Grady. Kidding! Well, you got to hire him anyway. He's a charity hire. You know, now, all our guys are good. And then and then on the weekend, we got this girl. Her name is Alicia, and she's just so fun to talk to. I just like to call and hear her voice. She's like, hello. And I, I, we, we have good people. And during the day, there's like a front of company of our size. And last time I checked, we had like 60, 60 drivers. Uh, it seems like there's two or three on during the day. And then at night, 24 hours a day, you'll have someone on. And they they can help you out. They're the people. You get there and you're standing there looking around. And you, your GPS is zeroed out and nothing. Nothing. You're going, okay, this isn't working. And they're the ones that can get on Google Earth and look down and say, okay, it's a white building and it's over by this. And they can help you dial in. But uh, the dispatchers are the ones that make or break you in this business. Uh, they're good people. They work long hours. They, they work hard. And they're like, literally, I walked in, they had six computer screens, one desk. Six computer screens. That's how much they're watching, how many boards they have to watch, and how wide-ranging they are. Because when you're loaded, you're making money. When they're loaded, you're making money. When neither one of you are moving anything, no one's making any money. So they have a big motivation. And one of the other things they do for you, when you go into an area and they, they say, hey, we got a load, you want to bid it? And the question comes up, what? How much? I mean, I, I don't know the area. They do. They know how much loads are coming and going out of places. And use their knowledge and listen to them because they're, they're good people. And, I, and one thing I've noticed, the, the dispatchers I work with, I don't think they have a turnover. I think they get that job. They're good at it. They dial, they just dial themselves in and they, they stick with it. And I've, I've really enjoyed the time I've had with the ones that I work with, except Grady. Like, I'm sorry, this keeps slipping out. <laughs> but uh, no, our people are good and uh, trust them and they understand and they have to put up with your frustrations, which is a nice way of saying they have to put up with my frustrations. Um, they have to deal with a lot of different personalities and they're, they're, they're good at it. They, they really know their things, but make sure you, your, your company that you're with, whoever you decide to go with, make sure your dispatchers got their act together because if they start tripping and stumbling, everything falls apart. And the ones I've worked with are absolutely wonderful, especially Alicia. I like talking to her. She's so sweet. She's always on the weekends too. I have absolutely no idea what she looks like, but she sounds like she's just kicking the pants. All right. Well, that's it on dispatchers. Like I said, you give them all the information you have. They'll ask you for paperwork sometimes, and the one thing they do that <laughs> drives me bonkers is you'll pick up a load, you have your paperwork, and you're driving down the road, and they say, oh, I need you to go uh, uh, print out a new copy because we changed something. I'm thinking, print out a new copy with my printer I have here in my... So what I end up doing is pulling into a really nice hotel, and you walk up to the front, and you go, can I print this here, please? And they're like, yeah, cool. They have a little, little business center. And other than that, I mean... They're, they're no problem. It's not them doing it. I mean, it's not them causing the problem. But just remember, if you ever have to reprint some, stop at a Hampton Inn or something and just say, look, my boss needs me. And they're real cool about it and give them a little tip. Get your paper and go on from there. So that's it for dispatching. All right, this is uh, Expediting the Lucy. I'm out for a little while.